Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Gary and this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Thank you so much for tuning in. This will be another concert review. This one is on the Burning Witches and the Iron Maidens. The show was at the Beachland Ballroom in Cleveland, Ohio on May 19th. So, uh, very excited to see this show. I try to get a bit of a variety in the concerts that I go to, and I was kind of looking at the docket, and I did not have any heavy metal shows lined up. Got some hard rock, but no metal. So uh, I like my metal generally from across the pond or overseas somewhere, somewhere in Europe, uh, because I'm not that big of a fan of most American metal. Now, I like a lot of American hard rock, but not so much metal. I like, you know, I mean, I've never, never been a fan of like Pantera and bands like that that much. Um, so the fact that the Burning Witches, who are a band from Switzerland, were actually going to be doing shows in the United States and along with the Iron Maidens, made this a show that I wanted to see because I knew it would be my type of metal that I like. So the show was at the Beachland Ballroom, and this was the first time I'd ever been to uh, this place. I was a little leery as I was driving there because, uh, well, I went by myself, and the show was heading east of Cleveland, the, the venue is. And uh, normally, there are a lot of areas east of Cle Cleveland that are not the best. Uh, I love Cleveland, by the way. It's where uh, some of my favorite beer, Great Lakes, is from. But um, anyway, like I said, that area has a lot of bad areas right around that direction. But uh, I kind of drove through a little bit of it. But the venue itself is kind of on a cool street right there. Uh, it's just a neat little area. There was like a record store there, a couple of pizza joints, a coffee place, a little bar or whatever. So, you know, I drove around back. I parked there. They have limited parking as far as that goes. Uh, but I parked around back. I just was waiting around for a little bit. Well, lo and behold, uh, as I was sitting there in my car, out of the back of this place comes Laura, the lead vocalist of the Burning Witches. And she was just kind of standing there for a minute. She had the door propped open, like waiting to go in there, I think maybe to do a sound check or something. But anyway, she was just standing there for a minute. So uh, I grabbed my record that I had in my car that I brought just in case. And I walked up to her and said, uh, you know, hey, uh, you know, would it be rude of me to ask you to sign my record? For me please and she said yes that would be very rude and then she laughed and she said no I'm just kidding signed it said I was looking forward to the show you know left her alone type thing uh went back in the car for a little bit waited kind of walked around the area anyway finally got in uh it was kind of odd how they let the people in off of the street later than people that were like going into the bar and going around I don't know it's kind of a little odd but anyway it didn't matter I got in, uh, I talked to the owner at, uh, I, I don't know if he's the owner or manager or what he was, but he's a really nice guy. Uh, asked him a couple questions about the place and whatnot, and they allowed me to, uh, in between shows, I went back out to my car and got my record to bring in um, to hopefully like get another signature or whatever on there. And I had my hand stamp. The guy says, yeah, you can leave and come back. It's no big deal. So that's a big plus. Uh, when you were seeing a concert. Anyway, the show itself. Uh, the Burning Witches went on first, and I must say they were very impressive. Uh, I have seen the Iron Maidens before, so in this case, I was looking more forward to seeing the Burning Witches. I've never seen them before. And uh, I just kind of really started listening to this band last year. They came on and pretty much had the crowd uh, in the palm of their hand for just most of the show. Um, they were very high energy, uh, you know, kind of dramatic. The band is made up of uh, 
I'm not going to try to do their last names because I would just butcher it. Uh, Jay on base. Um, got starting from over here and going across. Jay on bass. Um, Larissa on guitar. Um, Laura on vocals. Layla on drums. And Ramona on guitar. Actually, she's the founder of the band. So, uh, you know, they, they did mostly stuff off of this album, The Witch of the North, and Dance with the Devil. And they did some songs from a couple of the earlier albums. But these are the two albums that uh, Laura is, it was on lead vocals. They had a different lead vocalist before that particular album. So anyway, uh, like I said, it was just a, a great show. And uh, they are also a band like Iron Maiden or Black Sabbath, where they have a song named after the band. So they actually have a song called Burning Witches. But just a fun, fun show. Uh, Laura is just a crazy, amazing vocalist. Um, quite the range, has one hell of a scream. Um, kind of looks a little demented at times, uh, but in a fun way. Kind of, you know, does this uh, crazy thing with her eyes or or whatever. But, uh, you know, was friendly, like I said, before the show. Uh, saw a couple, her and a couple of the other members. I did get, uh, I don't know how well you can see it on here. I got three signatures. Uh, I got Larissa, the uh, one one of the guitar players. Uh, over here, and I got Layla's on drums, and once again, uh, Laura's on vocals. So that was cool uh, that I got that. I also did get one of their shirts this time around. I know I didn't get last show I saw, but I thought that was a cool, cool enough shirt that I would get it. Anyway, fantastic. Highly recommend uh, seeing Burning Witches. Next up was the Iron Maidens. Now, the Iron Maidens, pretty well known. Uh, they're pretty much the premier Iron Maiden tribute band. And uh, they tour quite extensively. And uh, the, the band is uh, made up of Linda McDonald on drums, Wanda Ortiz on bass, which I got one of her picks. I should have showed it here. Uh, Nikki Stringfield on guitar, who also put out this solo album uh, a year or two ago. You got Kristen Rosenberg on vocals, very good, uh, and Courtney Cox on guitar. So they got the two lead guitar players, just like the earlier Iron Maiden. Now, they they cover like all kinds of songs across the uh, Iron Maiden catalog. You never know for sure what they're going to do. Uh, but, I mean, amazingly enough, like some of the, you know, my favorites are some of the war horses, like Wasted Years, they did Hallowed Be Thy Name and uh, the title track, Iron Maiden. Those are some of my favorites. Uh, they they actually do Blaze Bailey material, too. So um, here's something odd, though, okay, about, I don't want to say odd. That's a poor choice of words. So when uh, the band came out, the Iron Maidens, Courtney Cox it was pretty clear very early on something was off. Uh, she ended up kind of motioning over to their road manager that, um, you know, do, he, she was pointing like that. He set a chair there for her. She sat down. Her hand was shaking or something. She was having a hard time holding her pick. Um, you could tell that something was off on her. I mean, she was not white herself. Well, it turns out that she had been sick, uh, kind of like during a lot of the day or whatever. And basically when she came on, she started having a panic attack. So it was very, um, odd to see or, um, unnerving kind of, because as I'm watching this, I'm looking over because at this time I was still very close to the stage. I ended up moving further back after a while, but I was very close to the stage and, you know, you could see that, you know, I thought, well, this, you know, this poor woman is sick or something. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't know what the story was, 
But, you know, nobody else in the band was really acknowledging it that much. And uh, Ramona from The Burning Witches was coming out and, like, putting ice packs on her and stuff while she was playing. I mean, it was just crazy. I, I kind of, I had this feeling of, like, you know, if, you know, just because we're here and we paid this money, I mean, if something's not right, you know, don't think, like, you have to play to keep going. But she did. I mean, much to her credit... She played the entire show. I mean, she had to sit in that chair to do it. Um, but she did, and she played. Um, like, later on, towards the end of the show, she was kind of, you know, making faces more at the crowd, smiling, because that's kind of what she is also, on top of being a crazy good guitar player. Uh, she is kind of like the lifeblood or the jokester of the band. She's always making goofy faces at people and she's, you know, just, you know, very popular. She doesn't take herself too seriously. The, the entire band uh, doesn't. They, I mean, you know, they kind of have, they all have a sense of humor. So did the Burning Witches, um, even though they're called the Burning Witches and, you know, they look kind of evil at times. I mean, they all had a, had a sense of humor, but, uh, you know, I mean, my hat's off to Courtney for, playing that entire show, but I almost had like a sense of guilt <laughs> for a while that, that she was playing because I thought, you know, man, it, if something is wrong, it's not that important that you keep playing like that. But she did, uh, played the entire show and they still sounded good. I mean, it was definitely missing the energy of her, you know, kind of jumping around and, you know, just doing the stuff that she normally does. So it was lacking that, but, uh, you know, still sounded great. Uh, you know, we kind of talk about Iron Maiden and Bruce Dickinson right now, kind of not being on top of his game anymore. Um, you know, that's the one good thing about, about this band. Uh, Kirsten still on top of her game. Uh, she still sounds great. The band sounds great. So, uh, this was a show they've only got a couple of dates left. The show, the tour was called the Hell Hat No Fury, you know, because it's all female. Uh, great, great night of uh, heavy, heavy metal music. And, you know, I mean, it's a shame that I'm just doing this now because I would really recommend it to people to go see these two bands together. And you know what the thing is, um, you know, it, it's really cool of the Burning Witches to come over here and play because, man, it is not high profile stuff. Uh, this was hard work. You could tell, you know, they're playing in some of these smaller places. They're having to do a lot of their own work and stuff. It's not glamorous at all. Uh, that they, You know, what they're doing right now, they're just out there trying to spread the, the word of their music and get it out there. They're, you know, these bands are busting their butt. It's not a glamorous scene for them at all. So, you know. Hats off to both bands and Burning Witches, you know, one of my favorite of, of some of the newer heavy metal bands out there. So anyway, that is my review of the show. Curious if any of you have seen it or not, but let me know. Thanks for watching. I'm Gary. This is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Till the next time, my friends, I will see you down the road.